Hello, welcome here to the shop at Intelligent Controls. I'm Mike, and today I'm going to be talking about Sagasa. I have a couple of their offerings here behind me today. The EBIC LV 13.4 kilowatt hour battery and the Master BMS that is a part of that system. As you may know, Intelligent Controls is very selective about the products that we choose to offer. One of the reasons we love Victron is the degree of reliability and customer service that we are able to offer to our customers in the same way that we would like to receive were we in their shoes. As a result, there are very few products that we work with. So who is Sagasa? They are the oldest manufacturer of batteries in Spain. They were founded a little over 90 years ago in 1934 with uh, lead acid and alkaline batteries, and they entered the lithium battery space in 2009. They have since then established a stellar reputation in the European market, which is far more developed than the one we have here in the United States. They have risen to the top through their unique combination of quality, value, and customer service. Sagasa understands that a battery is a lifetime investment. Uh, these things are made to last 15 plus years. And if you're going to buy a battery that's made to last 15 plus years, you should buy a battery from a company that is gonna be around in 15 plus years and will not let you down during that service life. Sagasa has shown that in spades. How are we working with Sagasa? Where did that connection come from? Sagasa was recommended to us by our Victron rep. Uh, we were at a trade show and we asked him, who have you guys been really excited to work with on the battery side of things? And he said, oh, Sagasa, I'll introduce you to him. And uh, from there, we've actually visited them. We've uh, established a relationship with them. And now we are bringing their products here into the United States. As we look here at these batteries behind me, there's a few things that are gonna stand out. One is the simplicity. We have come to expect a vast assortment of network ports and dip switches and flashing lights and state of health and state of charge indicators. And those are all missing from the Sagasa battery. That is because Sagasa has focused on the things that matter in the application that they have designed their battery to be utilized in. And that is in a communicating system with modern inverter equipment. Victron is really the prime example of who they are looking to work with, which is why the Victron Sagasa integration is par excellence. If you go to the Victron battery compatibility page, you will see all the batteries that Victron officially supports. And right there is Sagasa with a very complete write-up, all of the settings. It forces on DVCC when you hook it up. And uh, that's what we're looking for in a battery here at Intelligent Controls. So let's talk a little bit about the specifics of this battery here behind me. This is the EBIC low voltage. It is a 13.4 kilowatt hour, 280 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. If we were to take a quick look at the data sheet, we'll see that it is by some metrics conservative. And to me, that's actually a breath of fresh air. We are used to mystery meat batteries assembled by shadowy shell corporations that then pump up the data sheet to propose 100% depth of discharge and uh, ridiculously long service lives that we know just aren't the case. Sagasa does not aim to let down their customer base. They give good conservative estimates. They provide realistic temperature ratings because it's a modern lithium battery. They don't need to live in an outbuilding. They are supposed to be in a climate controlled space and that is how you get the highest degree of service life out of them. If you re dig into the data sheets of other manufacturers, if they even provide them, you will see that if you are operating your battery below that optimal range, service life really takes a nosedive. And uh, Sagasa is realistic about that. I personally like that. And they back all that up with a really great warranty. We've got a five-year manufacturing defect warranty and a 10-year product performance warranty from them. That's excellent. I don't know many other manufacturers offering that. So data sheet, good, covers everything, it has all the European certifications. They will be pursuing UL here in the future, but for now, do know that it is a fully tested battery. Internally, we have 15, not 16, 15, 280 amp hour tier one Chinese lithium cells. Now the cells are lithium from China because nobody else is manufacturing them. However, Sagasa has the industry knowledge and the size to get tier one cells from tier one manufacturers and then personally independently test those cells 
marry them up to the BMS, set a benchmark of compatibility, and then send them out to the customer. We have visited their manufacturing facilities and we were very impressed with what we saw there. Um, as far as the BMS goes, they are setting their own BMS protocol. They are building their own BMS board. They are building their own master BMS. Uh, one thing that may be different from the commonly found rack mount style batteries here in the US is this master BMS. We don't have a specific master unit in a Sagasa setup. These are all paralleled together and then sending their information up here to this master BMS, which then takes that and sends it on to say the Victron system, if that's what we're communicating with. Now let's talk about some of the things that I find to be little quality of life upgrades that really speak to me as a well thought out, well designed product that we're having here from Sagasa. Here on the side, we have a 250 amp breaker. This is required by some overseas markets, thinking of Australia, for example. But here in the United States, it still provides some really great functionality. This 250 amp breaker obviously will trip uh, 250 amps. It has a very high DC interrupt current. It is also capable of being tripped via shunt. So the BMS can tell this breaker right here to flip off as an added level of protection. Um, one thing that that adds as far as cabling considerations go, um, one thing that always makes me a little uneasy, I guess, about some of the rack mount style batteries that I see is that it is possible to have, say, 300 amps of batteries that are, you know, 300 amp capable batteries with a set of 100 amp capable end runs. And if you don't appropriately fuse that at the top, the batteries do not know not to provide 300 amps through 100 amps of wire. Melt things, bad. These guys, all that power is gonna go through this individual breaker. If that goes past 250 amps, we're hooking them up with 4 out, that breaker's gonna trip, make sure that everything stays protected. Kinda helps, you know, Murphy law proof things when you're out in the field. Let's talk a little bit about those connectors specifically. These are very solid amphenol style connectors. And one thing that I really like is that each battery comes with a set of these, not hooked up to wire yet. The problem with one size fits all wiring solutions is that they don't fit everything perfectly. Uh, oftentimes two meters say of wire is too long, you now have to zip tie things or hide them behind stuff, or it's just not long enough, at which point you are either going and trying to source directly from the manufacturer of these ends and probably get uh, proprietary crimpers, or you're having to cut and then butt splice the existing wire, which does not look good and is not particularly safe if not done well. Versus with the Sagasa connectors, I can cut 4 out exactly to the length that I need, nicely heat shrink things, crimp it behind, and then uh, torque it down behind a waterproof connector piece, then snaps into the backside of the battery, and everything's as it needs to be. Next, let's talk about this little piece right here. This here is a recovery dongle. Worst case scenario for any battery is they over-discharge, say it gets cold, and now the cells have dropped below the voltage point in which the BMS is capable of sustaining itself. If this ever happens, you know, there's some chance your battery will never, never be recoverable. But if it is going to be recoverable, the way you do that is by providing a very specific voltage at very low levels directly to the cells. Sagasa makes that easy. Most other batteries, you have to rip them apart. Uh, get past that BMS, which is isolating everything. With the Sagasas, we have a little connection port on the back of every single battery. We stick this little dongle, which comes with every battery, into it, uh, put a power supply on it, and now we can wake the thing up if it's ever met a uh, critical shutdown due to low voltage. Finally, let's talk about the mounting system. These Sagasas are the most robust and steady system that I've ever personally encountered. Rack mount batteries, they're great for, uh, you know, size efficiency, but it's, the racking is a whole other thing you got to think about. Wall mount batteries are not my favorite. I don't know many uh, stick built walls that are made to have 800 pounds of battery hanging off of them. I want to mount them on the ground. I want them to be solid. I want to be able to tie them in. I want to be able to tie them to each other. Sagasa makes that easy. We can put two batteries on top of each other with no other hardware needed. We can go up to four batteries when utilizing these uh, self-leveling brackets on the ground, makes them very solid. We can tie them together individually at these connection points. 
with these solid brackets. We can tie them into the wall from the connection points on the back. We don't need any uh, extra hardware with the exception of, you know, one of these little uh, brackets on the bottom, which still isn't necessary for your average installation. And uh, it just simplifies things. It's less extra stuff you have to buy. It's uh, easy to make a clean looking install. And we've got good compatibility with a lot of the circumstances that we actually find in the field. Another thing that I would like to point out, this master BMS unit, which can aggregate data from up to 20 batteries. So that's the system limit uh, for a single BMS unit, is powered via ethernet on this set of wires right here, directly off of the battery. One thing that I am always considering when doing a system design, whether it is for a client that is well off grid or say a security trailer that's sitting out in the middle of nowhere, is the last thing that I want to go down is my control and communications. Having this power directly off of the cells of the battery allows me to let my inverter go shut down due to low voltage protocols. Uh, I can have battery protect measures, say externally on my link system, shut down. But the last thing that's ever going to shut down is this BMS unit right here. And for me, that is critical. Another thing about these breakers is that when we are doing our DC busing, say we're using a, a Victron system, we can use Lynx power ins rather than Lynx distributors, save you a little bit of extra on fuses. Um, and if we're not using Victron Lynx systems, then uh, we can go directly to a bus bar. We don't have to worry about inline fusing. Another well thought out element that Sagasa brings to the table is a really well developed battery viewer program. If you've ever had the misfortune of needing to pull data directly from the BMS of many of the batteries available here to, the U, to us in the United States, often that is a painful process of making customs comms cables and dealing with 90 style software with uh, baud rates and dip switches and all this other stuff going into it. That's not the case with Sagasa. With Sagasa, this unit right here, can be accessed either via Ethernet cable, just a standard Ethernet cable, or via Wi-Fi. It does have a little Wi-Fi access point that it creates. And from there, we have a fully modern battery view program called eViewer through them. We can log into it at various levels, whether user or installer. And uh, from there, we can see data for every single battery, high, low cell voltage, cell temperature. We can see currently the current that is being supplied or being received by the batteries, all that information, along with all of our event logs and our data logs. We can uh, activate uh, other various features of the battery, such as its soft start circuit, which I will talk a little bit about here in a second. Um, reset alarms and uh, make all of that information accessible to our dealers or to Sagasa themselves if there's ever a case in which we need to warranty a battery being able to positively identify what happened so that you can get your warranty taken care of as a smooth, streamlined process is critical and Sagasa makes that easily available to the consumer. Now let's talk about, as a guy that sometimes goes into the field, personally my favorite element. Up here on the wall I've got three Quattro 10Ks. It's 30 kVA of inverter from Victron. And if you've ever put one of these bad boys up on a wall and tried to power it up, you'll know that it has a very, very, very hungry capacitor inside of it. Oftentimes, uh, most batteries struggle to provide that in a single soft start cycle. The Sagasas have a actual resistive circuit inside of them. Uh, they got a soft start feature. You'll actually see as they go into it and you activate that soft start function altogether, they will slowly ramp up that voltage. We'll see the Quattro hit a low battery, then full voltage, and then come up and turn on. I've actually been able to turn on all three of these Quattro 10Ks with a single unit of the Sagasas. No more flipping things off, flipping things on again. We're not exposing the cells inside of the battery to the raw current draw by just turning off overcurrent protections like many other batteries do. We actually have a elegant, well thought out solution that makes it simple in the field to start up a system off of the DC bus, which if you know much about Victron products is the recommended way of doing things in the first place. That way, all of our components, our inverters, our solar charge controllers, all see voltage from the battery first before anything else and are able to automatically set themselves to the voltage parameters required by the battery system. To wrap things up, let's talk a little bit about service. 
Here in Intelligent Controls, we experience what sometimes we term as trickle-down customer service. When one of my clients has an issue, they come to me. If that's something that I can solve immediately, I do so. If it's not something I can solve immediately, I have to go on to the manufacturer and I have to talk to them and I have to get a level of technical expertise that maybe we don't have. With Victron, we can do that. With Sagasa, we can also do that. When Every installation is different. Every circumstance requires a bit of personal attention and uh, hotlines where non-technical people read off of a data sheet or a pre-fabricated script doesn't cut it when your client is out of power. You really need people that understand the why and the how behind how their stuff works. And having access to personal support from the partners that we work with enables us to then turn around and provide that same excellence of support to our own customers. We are very excited to move into the future, riding the wave of the integration between Sagasa and Victron as they both innovate and bring new market-specific products here to the United States for us to pass along to our own customers and uh, really benefit from as we go into the future. Thanks for joining us. I hope this video was informative. Please uh, check the links below, go to some technical articles. We do a deep dive into the data sheets, into the user manuals, into the warranties, and everything else that's relevant as far as Sagasas go. And keep an eye out for future videos. I will be doing some more in-depth installation guides for these batteries. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you. See you in the next one.